For fixing a cyclic redundancy check error, you may have to resolve hardware issues, such as bad sector in the hard drive. Often, removing dirt from external storage media such as CD or DVD from where the data is being copied works to stop popping of error messages. A cyclic redundancy check CRC, is an error message that appears on the computer screen whenever your PC reads corrupt data. A CRC basically detects an error in the file that is being read by your PC. This error message commonly occurs when your PC attempts to read data from a damaged storage media, such as a hard disk, CD, or DVD. When data is being transferred to the PC, CRC ensures that data with numerous errors does not reach the specified destination. This is the reason why a corrupted CD does not get copied onto your computer. Fixing CRC error issues with external storage media CD slash DVD many times, accumulation of dirt on the CD or DVD causes a CRC error. Cleaning this storage media using a soft cloth often solves the problem. A scratched CD or paper labels on the disc can also be an issue. This is because scratches or labels do not allow the disc to burn properly. Partially burned CDs are especially responsible for causing this error. For extracting information from damaged disks, there are software applications useful in this regard. These are tools that recover data such as lost digital images from corrupted CDs and DVDs. Hardware issues If the CRC error is still displayed even after running a clean disk, then most probably the problem is with the hardware. You need to check your CD and DVD drives and clean them regularly using a lens cleaner disc. Find out whether these devices are functioning properly. Replacing the CD slash DVD reader with a new one might solve the problem. Software issues Incomplete download system crash buggy software applications with plenty of bugs. In such cases, the system may display messages like an invalid Windows file or an invalid Win32 application. But it is actually a CRC error. Incomplete downloads a file that is not properly downloaded from the web or an interrupted file transfer can also lead to CRC errors. So before you open the file, check whether it has been downloaded completely. You can use a download manager while downloading any file from the web. A download manager application keeps a track on the downloading process and informs you when it is complete. Or else, you can again attempt to download from the start and check whether it still occurs. Loose connections Defective connections between the computer and the hard drive causes the CRC message to pop up on the screen. For fixing CRC errors related to networking issues, you need to verify all the connections to decode the problem. Sometimes, the connection of a DVD slash CD drive is loose that may interfere with the functioning of the devices. Issues with the hard disk On many occasions, the CRC message is displayed on the screen when the destination hard drive has a bad sector. So, even though the DVD slash CD is perfectly alright, one may still encounter this error. This happens because the location hard disk where you are trying to store the file has a bad sector. To check whether the location has a bad sector, execute the null command on the run command prompt. This command actually reads the content of the file stored on the CD slash DVD. For instance, if the DVD drive on your computer is E, and the file nix.txt in the DVD is stored under the folder tng backslash audio then the command prompt will look as follows. C, backslash greater than E, E, audio. E, audio greater than x copy nix.txt null one file s copied. Because the destination is not specified, it only reads the file. If the command runs successfully, you will get the outcome as one file s copied meaning the file has been read successfully and as such there is no issue with it. This indicates that the hard disk is corrupted due to a bad sector. In such case, the solution is to either change the hard disk or burn the DVD on a different machine altogether. Repairing the hard disk If you are thinking of repairing the hard disk, you can run hard disk recovery programs such as Spinrite. This software program does two things. Firstly, 
it retrieves data from a bad sector. Secondly, it marks all the bad sector so that data is never written on it in the future. Another option to remove errors from the hard disk is to execute chkdsk command. This is a check disk command that identifies the bad sectors and tries to restore readable information. Running chkdsk from graphical user interface graphical user interface double click the desktop computer icon. Select the partition of your hard drive that you want to scan. As we all know, letters are often used to name disk partitions. Depending upon the size of your hard disk, it will have two or more partitions. So, if your hard disk has four partitions, you will have to run the chkdsk command on each partition to scan the entire hard disk. Say, you have chosen the D partition referred to as the D disk drive of your hard disk. Right click the D disk drive icon and choose the properties option. The properties window will pop up on your computer screen. Click on the tools tab to view the check now button. Click the check now button. The check disk window has two checkboxes automatically fix file system errors and scan for and attempt recovery of bad sectors. Check mark both the boxes and click the start button to ensure that errors that occur while scanning are corrected immediately and data from a bad sector is recovered. Important note the C partition of the hard disk usually contains the operating system files that are running in the background when the computer is in operation. So, if you decide to run the chkdsk command on the C disk drive, the scanning is unlikely to start. In fact, you will notice a pop-up window that conveys the message Windows can't check this disk while it's in use. This window pops up if you have installed Windows Vista operating system. The pop-up window also has a Schedule Disk Check button. Click on this button and the disk check will be scheduled after you reboot the computer. In other words, you need to switch off the computer properly and start it again to run the chkdsk command. Running chkdsk from the command prompt cmd in order to see the command prompt screen. Firstly click the Windows Start button. Now, type CMD in the Start Search text box and hit Enter button on your keyboard. You will view the command line utility. The syntax of chkdsk command is chkdsk drive slash f slash r read more at buzzle http colon slash slash www.buzzle.com slash articles slash fix dash cyclic dash redundancy dash check dash error dot html for searching and recovering data from bad sectors and correcting other errors on the c drive of hard disk type single quote chkdskc slash r single quote in the command prompt and hit the enter button for running the chkdsk command on other partitions of the disk, substitute C with the letter that denotes the partition of your disk. If you are not interested in restoring data from the bad sectors and only want to fix errors, then type single quote chkdskc slash f single quote. This command completely skips the bad sector while scanning the disk. How long to wait for chkdsk slash r operation to complete? This will depend on the size of your hard disk and the amount of corrupted data. The bigger the hard drive, the longer will be the duration of scan. For instance, a chkdsk command that is run on a 120 GB capacity hard drive will take around 10 hours to complete. On the other hand, one terabyte capacity hard drive full of data may require 30-35 hours to finish the chkdsk command. Data recovery from corrupted storage as aforementioned, popping up of the CRC error when copying a file from an external storage media to the computer hard drive is pointing that the CD slash DVD has a bad sector. Now, the solution is to retrieve data from the external media storage. For this, you need to go to the command prompt. Use the cd command to change the current working directory to the location where the file is stored. 
Let's say user backslash public is the folder in your CD slash DVD, which is on eDrive, from where the file is to be copied. C, backslash greater than E, E, backslash greater than CD file location. E, public. The command prompt upon execution looks like E, public greater than indicating our current working directory is user backslash public. Suppose nix.txt is name of the file in which the data is stored. This file is stored in the location user slash public. Now, we have to transfer data from nix.txt to another new location, say b, backslash nef folder. For this you need to use the xcopy command that allow you to copy one or more files from one folder to another. The syntax is as follows, xcopy source destination. Xcopy slash cnix.txt b, backslash nef folder. So, now the command prompt that will allow to copy data will look like this greater than e, public greater than xcopy slash cnix.txt b, backslash nef folder. There is a high probability that xcopy command may stop copying files as soon as it reads errors from the source user slash public. To avoid such a situation the slash C option is also used. It ensures that the xcopy command copies data uninterruptedly from the source. In case, you want to create a copy all files in the folder user backslash public then instead of nix.txt, you need to type asterisk. Asterisk. So, the xcopy command will look like xcopy slash C asterisk. Asterisk B, backslash nef folder. Another option is to directly copy all the content from DVD slash CD to a new folder in your computer. The syntax is as follows, xcopy slash CE, file slash S slash I. Here the data from the files folder in your E drive, which is the CD slash DVD drive of your computer, is copied to a new folder slash I called files and is located on the C drive. The slash s single quote option helps to copy all the subdirectories located in e backslash files.